Yeah, first of all, um, you know, Westminster uh, coach got to really spend some time with him today. What a story, career, winning a national championship at Salt Lake. And, you know, I've been in his shoes um, in these games, and I really respect Division II basketball. And, um, you know, if we have to play a non-one, I think we should play the team in state, and I think it really helps their budget. Um, got to give our guys credit, 28 assists. Really, really pleased um, with how we keep passing the ball. And, uh, force and tempo, and I thought we shot the ball really well to make 17 threes um, was really, really good. I want to ask you quick about Isaac Johnson, what, what his status is. He'll be back Monday. Um, he was out tonight with a personal matter, um, but he'll be ready to go against Montana. Coach, you kind of mentioned it. I think coming into the game, second in the country, and assist a turnover three and a half ish, 28 to 9 tonight, kind of right around there. What's, what's been clicking that you're not turning the ball over much and you're really spreading it out? Yeah, um, it reminds me of my team a couple years ago, although this team here um, I think uh, has the ability to play even much faster. You know, we led the country in offensive efficiency two years ago all the way through almost kind of like early January. Um, our guys' ability to find each other, to, you know, spacing, cutting, uh, the things that really a lot of people don't talk about with offense, um, you have to be able to teach that. I think our coaches do a great job of teaching our guys, but you have to credit the players and the type of players we have. Um, they really, really um, enjoy moving the ball. Um, and as the crowd gets into the game, you know, sometimes kids have a tendency to pound the ball and, you know, go one on one. Our guys don't do that. They find the next advantage. And that's what basketball is. It's about finding, creating, and keeping advantages, spacing the floor, um, and giving, you know, taking what the defense gives you. And our guys have really played at a high level. I think we have seven players in the top 14 in the Mountain West in offensive efficiency. I think overall, we were the number one offensive team in the country uh, after two games, right? That's hard to do with so many new guys. Um, so uh, where we're at is certainly not where we're gonna finish. We wanna keep getting better in a lot of different areas, but very, very pleased with our ball security and just overall offense. So I haven't gotten the exact total because you guys kept having, but I think you now lead the country in 10-0 runs. It's somewhere around 10 or 11, I think. The kill shot, yeah, Jason. The kill shot. <laughs> the kill shot. <laughs> just, yeah. You guys seem to keep having them over and over and over again. Yeah, the kill shot is uh, its a real thing. You know, I think uh, they said it's now there's the Husky, um, you know, after our Alcorn run. And that one was after um, in the Elite Eight game uh, with uh, UConn and Illinois when they went on that 30-0 run or whatever it was last year in Elite Eight. Um, so we, we didn't get any Huskies tonight, but the kill shot is great. Um, it's, you know, 10-0 runs. And we talk about 6-0 runs. So um, I got this from a good friend. And we... We play it in practice, right? So we have two teams, a blue and a white, and it's the first team to go on a 6-0 run. And once you win, the game's over. So the guys have really bought into that, um, getting stops and getting out and, and scoring the ball. We can't have empty possessions, Jason. We get stops, we gotta score. Um, you know, when, a couple times we got cute tonight, right? We tried to make the grand slam, so just, you know, hitting singles all night. Um, but we're, we're very, very unselfish. I assume you saw Martinez early on when he got the job here and probably realized what he was capable of, but this kind of shooting night was... Yeah, I think he's um, got a chance to be player of the year. I, I've been saying it all year. There's some great players in the league, Dagenhart, Boise State, Donovan Dent. Uh, you know, the list goes on and on in the Mountain West. Uh, this is a big-time league, but Ian Martinez is a big-time player. Um, this kid is... is Three-level score. Um, the thing that I'm most proud of him right now, he's 12. Now he's 12 to um, three, I believe, assist to turnover. So last year he had a negative assist to um, turnover rate, right? And we've talked all season long, Ian, if you want to become a high-level player, it's about making each other better, right? It's about making your teammates better. When you're in the pick and roll and if they're up to touch and there's two on the ball, we got to pass the ball. Um, he really, really does it every day in practice. Him and Auburn have a, a, a cohesion in that pick and roll that has become really good. Um, so I, I'm really proud of Ian. His leadership uh, has grown immensely. Um, and he's, he's going to be a go-to guy, right? I mean, he's going to be a guy when the game's on the line, we're going to put the ball in his hands, and he's going to either make the game winner or he's, he's going to, uh, you know, pass the ball to his teammates. And then in the huddle today when we – you know, we came out in that second half, we were only like plus two. We talked about halftime uh, being better than the first half. You know, we're up 40 and you can't scoreboard watch. Each possession has a life of its own. Let's stay disciplined, let's play the right way. 
Ian was bringing guys together, and that's what we need if we're going to be great, right? That's the difference between good and great is those leaderships. And your best players have to be your willing passers, and he is. You guys pressed on defense a lot today and created all those turnovers. Throughout the course of the long season, though, we're obviously um, competition and you know, stuff. So. How sustainable do you think that is from an energy standpoint and a bias? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, each game, like I said, has a life of its own. It's, you know, gives a whole set of different problems. But I think we'd be, you know, silly not to do it um, at times, right? Whether that's dead balls, that's, uh, you know, after timeouts, that's, you know, if we want to change tempo of the game. You know, Dayton Albury and Dexter Acano, Ian Martinez, Drake Allen, Mason Falslev, uh, all of them, all these guys, they are big time athletes. Right? We have a lot of guys that can play above the rim, but they can also play vertically. And I truly believe we have the best strength coach in the country. I've been around some really top-level guys, guys that have been at Louisville, Xavier, West Virginia, high, high-level programs. Brandon Buskey is as good as I've seen. Um, he really, really does a tremendous job of building relationships with the guys, um, spends a ton of time with these guys, right? And that's what uh, you have to do as a leader, and um, he's really done wonders with our guys. So our endurance is really good. Our lateral movement, our burst is really good. Um, he has an assistant, um, Eric, um, that we brought on. He, I call him our scientist. Uh, every day we have a tracking device um, on their shorts and we track them during the game. Uh, we know their workloads, like in about 10 minutes, I'm gonna get the full report on uh, how many miles each guy ran, how many bursts did we have, what was our workload, right? And we, we're very, very specific. We knew tonight, after we're going to have a day off tomorrow, then we're going to have three-day prep, uh, that we wanted to play a certain guy's uh, number of minutes, but we wanted to see where our press was at. It's not, not great, as you saw, right? Like, we haven't worked it a ton, uh, but it's something we're going to be able to go to, I think. It's a good question. Say it's going to come with us. Yeah, Tuck, uh, yeah, Tucker Anderson, you know, his mom texted me. I think I woke up yesterday to a text like 7 a.m. Uh, she congratulated us. And, um, you know, I just tell her to hang in there, man. Be positive with your son. He's going to make shots. So tonight he was 3 of 7. Uh, you know, Mason was 2 of 2. Martinez, I mean, he had a lot of the heavy lifting. Um, you know, he makes 7. Um, so we got a lot of guys, I think, that can really, really fill it up from 3. Jordy Barnes. Uh, what Jordy made two, you know, he has 10 points. So he's a guy, when he's out there, we need him to be a scoring threat, and uh, he can do it as well. So Carson, that back-to-back -back game said Was that his career, career high today, Jason? Yeah, career high was in the last game. Too, That's think. awesome. So, it seems he's really filling in that, uh, his role pretty well and getting some production as well. Yeah, really, really proud of uh, KT. Um, he still likes to pop a little too much, he, Jason. He wants to shoot threes, but um, they reminded me on the bench he was one of two tonight, so he made that first one. So. I always tell him at Auburn, if you guys are open the first one, shoot it. Um, and then uh, we'll see after that. If you make it, we're going to keep letting those guys shoot it. So he was going to get that other one up. Um, he was determined. But, you know, each game I try to pick a guy um, to light up the A. Um, you know, we had a little ball boy in there today along with Carson light the A. Um, I thought Carson played a phenomenal game. And uh, it was a shame ID, you know, his back went out because um, I really wanted to get him some more minutes. He would have ended up playing about 14 or 15 minutes tonight. He's a guy we got to continue to get more minutes. And same thing with Braden Housley. You know, he's a kid. Okay? He's okay, yeah. Jordy got a little too cute. He felt really bad about it. You know, he tried to throw that alley-oop off the glass. It wasn't a great play um, either way. And I think Isaac was calling for it. You know, there's sometimes you, just, you didn't know what that defender was going to do. And he played Isaac, and it, it could have been bad. Um, but, you know, he'll be all right. Well, number one, uh, Spectra Magic is really real. Um, I think what our marketing team has done, uh, what our students have done, um, our general public, right, our season ticket holders, um, there, there's not any place better to play in, right? So I think you start with there with the Spectrum. You know, when I walk down that tunnel, there's, there's an energy you feel as a head coach uh, that I haven't felt, right? When I come in at 5.15 tonight, um, and there's people ready to roll, right? You know, Coach Huggins uh, taught me a long time ago. He had a great, he, he taught me a life lesson. Um, you know, I was a student assistant. I was going to Cincinnati. 
I had no idea what I was walking into. And uh, we were playing at the University of Akron, and I asked him, I said, probably not going to be a big crowd tomorrow, right? And he said, there'll be 14,195. Um, and I said, what do you mean? He said, they're here to see our team, right? It doesn't matter who we play, people are going to show up. And that's how I feel uh, in the spectrum. You know, and I think these new guys, uh, the Dexter Econos that were at different schools, Dayton Allberry's, Tucker Anderson, they're getting more and more comfortable, right, playing in this environment. Um, so when we come back, um, you know, after these next couple games, right, like after Montana, we hit the road. Um, so we got to be ready to go. Next week is a critical, critical uh, week for us. Montana and Iowa are two big time opponents. I think Montana was down 12 at halftime. I watched the majority of that. I've watched every one of their games. They got an NBA prospect and Money Williams. Um, but I, I think our team is very deep. Um, and I think, you know, we have to continue to get better. Uh, but I love coaching them. This is probably. Uh, I don't, I, you know, don't want to tell them this every day, but I do tell them a lot. You got, they're the easiest group to coach um, because they are very selfless people, right? There's no me in this team. It's all we every day, and that's that's a great thing as a coach.